67. We're just going to go and fight the next boss. Um, This boss is interesting in the fact that it's not its not a regular formation that you fight against. It uh, sort of gets stuck in the middle of your, your party, so it's sort of a pincer attack. Oh, fuck! It's a trap! So this is the big bad president, uh, the guy that owns Shinra, who owns all the reactors. Basically this entire city is under their control. And these guys hate him, they want his public enemy number one as far as they're concerned. <laughs> Graham. Susan is pissed. So here he comes. Here he comes to fuck you up. Now this fight all depends on how... Um, what attacks he uses and who he attacks because I've had times where he's ganged up on shitwife um, and just killed her. Also this music is just incredible. So as you can see I've got him cornered, I've got him trapped so I can attack him from either side and deal way more damage than I can use. That's, that's four times damage. Look at his pretty face. If he turns around. This should kill him. Guys, I think he's gonna be honest. He must have hardly any health left. There we go. <laughs> Let's go, shit wife. Yes, husband. Be strong, Susan. You can do it. No! And that's it. That's the end of the game. Just kidding.
very strange conversation without context, this one. I mean, if you didn't know what they were talking about. Um, hey, it moved. Okay. Alive. He's made it. He's, uh, he's fallen through a church. Uh, nearly killed this woman. Who, as you may remember, was the woman we bought a flower off at the start of the game. And also... Is about to join our party. I mean, it could have been a very different game if, if she'd been directly underneath where he'd fallen and he'd have killed her. It'd have been a very short game. It's like, I don't fucking care. We meet again. So this this woman, she is another prospect for the date scene later on, and she currently has a really high affection for the main character, so we need to do as much as we can to piss her off, uh, starting with telling her, yes, I remember who you are, you're the drunk. She's like, fuck you, guy. So I've played this game a lot. I finished this game this game a lot and this sense I mean this the PS4 version is uh it's it's patched over the original um like it's, it's it's translated the the bits that didn't make any sense in the first game in the PS1 version. And this bit has stayed the same. And for the life of me I cannot figure out what say right so she's like Yes, a mine's special. It's it's better than everyone else's. It does absolutely nothing. It doesn't make any sense. So I mean, if if anyone knows what that's supposed to mean, please tell me because I've been lost reading that so many times, thinking what the fuck is she on about. So yeah, I don't want to talk to her. It doesn't interest me in the slightest, really. I mean, my back's killing me. So we need to name her pretty soon, uh, and I have the perfect name for her. So no spoilers, obviously. I don't, I'm not a fan of spoilers in games. No spoilers. <laughs> the name's Graham. This shady character, we'll, uh, we'll see a lot of him pretty soon. So this guy's just fallen from an incredible height, uh, fallen through a roof, nearly killed, well, he's very nearly killed himself, and she's like, take me home. I mean, Gray must be thinking, no. Take your cell phone, lazy bitch. Going back onto what I said about the soundtrack of this game, this is easily one of my favourite tracks. So cool. It, it's really, it really is fitting for these particular characters. Hey, come on, Graham. Let's go through my back door. Graham's like, all right, let's go. <laughs> so he just walks all over those flowers. No fucks given. But also, don't walk on the flowers. Yeah. 
All right, so we need to get out of here. Uh, there's a bit of a, a sort of mini game of sorts coming up. Also, this little um, sequence here. Oh. I'm pretty sure in the PS1 version that was a, a gap they had to jump over. That's fine. So, Daisun is the proverbial magic user of these games. Um, so, whereas her stats are terrible in every other aspect, her magic stat is pretty impressive. It's very impressive, actually. I mean, late game stats, um, her magic stats are just through the roof. He, the best magic user in the game, by a mile. So she won't jump over this gap because she's lazy. So we need to figure out how to get her across. <laughs> so him saying, yeah, I'll hold him off with my sword from 30 feet in the air. Alright, so we need to save her, and the way we're going to do that is, use these barrels that have been very, very cleverly placed for this particular purpose. So that's one down. Now we need to push them in a, in a specific order, obviously, um, based on where the enemy at the bottom is, is stood. Yeah! Uh, on the Swatch Thing impression. So, this battle ends. Seems dead. There's one guy left. Uh, one barrel left to push. So we'll wait for her to get positioned. Uh, um. So let's push this. That. Very, very easy. I mean, if you miss, if you push the wrong barrel or take too long, they'll catch up to her and she has to fight them. And at level 5, with just a shitty stick as a weapon, uh, it's not ideal. I mean, it's incredible how big this church is as well. How high they are. And yet you get outside and it's tiny, tiny house. So that guy there in the church was a Turk. Um, shouldn't be confused with someone from Turkey. Uh, I mean these guys are murderers and violent criminals which is totally different. So we need to go on our way soon take this bitch home. So she's tired already. It's been three seconds and she's had enough. Uh, luckily she doesn't live that far away. It's only really a short walk. This way. So 
these enemies here. Very dangerous. They, they can gang up on you. Um, you can read them in pack of four if you're not here. It's so dangerous. You attack so fast. You really can gang up on you. <laughs> Alright, so for those that um, have played the original PS1 version or may have seen it on the internet, this, this particular scene here, as far as the bad translations went in the original game, this was probably the best. <laughs> so, Die Soon will say there's a guy in here and the, he's ill. Uh, this guy is sick. So, <laughs> in the PS1 version, she would say, this guy are sick. I mean, if you if you can't remember, just Google it. It's so funny. So he's not having a great time in his uh, tunnel house there. He's got a TV, though. I mean, fair play to him. He'll have something to do. Hurt your eyes standing that close to the TV, my friend. So we're going to rob this this little boy blind. Uh, he's got some money that we need. Oh yeah! Now we can go shopping. Scary dog. Alright, so... In the first episode I was saying about grenades being so useful. Um, in, well, pretty much all the way through the first disc. I mean, the amount of damage they do is, is outrageous. So we will buy 15 of those. And we will sell three of those. I mean, I'll... I'll I'll probably never use an ether in this playthrough. And they are they do sell for a lot of money, so let's get rid of a few of those. Alright, so this is Dai Soon's house. Uh just gonna steal from her garden. I want to go to shit wife's bar. And she's like, is that a real place? Is she a girl? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I love shit wife. I mean, to be fair, I, I literally just had to walk you home. You can't go home on your own. You get me in trouble. You can't keep up. You can't jump over gaps. You're pretty useless. So they've hatched a plan that she's going to take him to the bar in, in, earlier in the game. Um, but he... He really is, is thinking that... He doesn't want to get in any more trouble. Um, and Mum's going to tell him that, you know, no offence, but can you just piss off and leave my daughter alone? And he's like, well, yeah. That's fine. Good night. 
So this house has two beds. Um, obviously, Dyson and her mum bed each. So with with Graham sleeping there tonight, where does the mum sleep? Mind blown. So I looked at Graham and his mum a few years ago, and she's like, Graham, you're old enough now, when are you going to move out, get a job, get a girlfriend? You're costing me a fortune in hairspray and hair products. Um, just get out. And he's like, I'm fine actually, I'm having a good time lying on my bed all day. She's like, no, come on, you really are getting on my nerves now, you're a grown man. So we don't want to wake her up. So we're going to walk out instead of running. Stay away from her door. I mean, once we're downstairs, make as much noise as we want. Look at this. Sprinting around. That's fine. Alright, off we go. How did she get there? Ridiculous. So she can't walk home from the church, but she can teleport. Outrageous. <laughs> Shitwife Seventh Heaven. What a name. Alright, so she's been stubborn and she's gonna join you. No matter what you say. Strange, strange assortment of items in this junkyard. So after the um, the 15 seconds of running that we've done, uh, she's quite tired, so she wants to take a break. I mean, there's everything. There's a slide we can play on. Whatever this is. Play with a swing. Tiny house with a dangerously big gas canister next to it. And this says a lot about the, the poverty and the crime in her neighbourhood. That uh, she can't believe a slide that's as big as 20 people is still there. She can't believe it hasn't been stolen yet. Class, motherfucker. We will find out what his name was. Don't worry. Taxi. Look at that turning circle. <laughs> Shit, wife, what are you doing? <laughs> yes, she was. Alright, so we need to save her. Shit wife's in trouble. So there's a little bit of a, a side quest. Well, it's not a side, but like a mini-game kind of thing coming up. So... We need to get through this area, which is a sort of market town. Um, and to do that, we will need to acquire some very interesting items using very interesting methods. So first, first thing we'll do, obviously, is go and visit the hot house. So if we want to pick up chicks, we will come here. Hey, you know, a girl called Shit Wife. Uh, yeah. So Don Corneo is... He owns, um... 
take this entire town, including that whorehouse and um, his mansion, which is we will need to go to next. But we will hit a snag because Don Corneo doesn't like men that much. He prefers the ladies. So what he'll do is he'll send his lackeys out to kidnap women uh, and then bring them back to his mansion and he'll pick his favourite and then, well, use the imagination as to what he does next. So this guy won't let us in, um, but we have a plan, very very simple plan. We need to dress Graham up as a woman. What? So we need a couple of bits. Uh, we need a dress and a wig. But they're the two main items that we need, but we can, if we wanted to, pick up other items. Doing all the little fetch quests and things like that, which we will do because they're interesting and they are some of them are quite funny. So first of all, we need to get a dress. Uh, it's very very simple. We go to the shop. So he's like, well, I know this is a clothes shop, but the guy that makes our stuff isn't here. He's busy getting pissed. So we need to get him. Let's go to the bar. Talk to this man here. He's like, where are you? <laughs> yep. It's interesting, really, because, I mean, as, as some of you may know, there is a PS4 remake, actual remake of this game coming out, I believe, this year. Um, and it's interesting that how this scene would, would sort of transition to a 3D game. And I really, I'm really excited to see what they're going to do with this. It's not in every game that you have to dress your main character up as a, as a woman to get through a certain section of the game. You don't see it. And it's not really some... Well, I mean, back in the 1997, it was a different time. You know, they didn't, they didn't give a shit. So those choices that we've, we've picked there, they determine what kind of dress we get. Um, I'm hoping that the ones I've picked give me the best dress. I'm not 100% sure on what the right ones are, actually. We will see. So we picked our choices. <laughs> Would you believe that is the worst choice? <laughs> wow. So there's the three different dresses that you can get. There's a uh, silk dress, which is the best, a satin dress, and a cotton dress. Uh, cotton being the worst. Which is uh, just natural, really. We can pick that. So we need a wig. Um, but before we get a wig, we're going to get some other bits and pieces just to really bring out Graham's feminine side. So, first of all, let's go in here. So this guy, he needs a favour. He wants to talk man to man. And Graham's like, oh yeah, okay, I'm lonely as well. He wants you to go into the hotel. The hotel's got a new vending machine, and this guy, uh, for whatever reason, doesn't want to go in there. So he wants you to go and find out what he's selling. Pretty easy. So on the way, we will get a bite to eat. Uh, oh, that sounds nice.
Oh yeah, that looks delicious. Three bikes. <laughs> now I know he's already paid. Um, I mean, that would be a hilarious thing to say. But we need to say this to get this item here, which is a coupon. And we will use that in the pharmacy. If you haven't played this game before, this may not make a lot of sense as to what I'm doing right now, but it'll make sense eventually. So we're going to trade that coupon for some digestive. And we'll go to the hotel. Let's see what all the fuss is about with this vending machine. So, these three items correspond to what item we'll get from the guy that asked the favour in the first place. So we'll buy the most expensive one. Now while we're down here... So this guy's given us his member's card for the brothel. I mean, oh, let's, let's go. Why are we waiting? Let's go. And dive soon is like, I'm not sure I want to go in there, to be honest. I mean, I'm not judging you, Graham. We've all got needs and urges, but it's not, it's not my thing. <laughs> so these guys are going to keep the company outside for us, which is very, very nice of them. So, we need to pick a room. <laughs> I'm really fancying the, the group room, to be honest. That sounds nice. <laughs> if you've never played this game before, this, this will be an eye-opener. To what sort of standards they had back then in the 90s. <laughs> so, without further ado, let's, let's begin. Emo! <laughs> Everyone. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Who are these guys? <laughs> I mean, I don't really have to say anything else, to be honest. Look at those moustaches. That is terrifying. <laughs> As a nine-year-old boy playing this game for the first time, just, just get scarred for life. Oh, this could be dangerous. You don't say. <laughs> oh, yes, please. Well, <laughs> say no more, really. <laughs> it hurts. It's not every day that you spend your time in a hot tub with a man that's twice your age. Yeah, whatever, whatever suits you, really. Whatever you're into. <laughs> um, yeah. So, I mean, make your own mind on what happened there. I'm sure you don't need me to tell you. God. Hmm. So, before we leave, I mean, to really, really bring out Graham's feminine side, probably best we get some makeup.
Oh yeah. I mean, I was nearly fooled myself just then looking at him. What a transformation. So we're going to save Dai soon before she uh, gets something terrible happen to her. Now, remember the item that we picked up from the hotel? Uh, we're going to drop it off so the man that asked us to get it for him. She buggers off. <laughs> that jerk. I mean, as far as trades go, we've just traded a protein set for a tiara made of diamonds. Which isn't a bad deal, really. So next, uh, we will need to give someone the digestive that we picked up earlier on. So this guy's dying for a piss. He can't hold it any longer. But someone in the bathroom, and they can't go. So we'll give her some digestive to help her out. She'll give us some sexy cologne. Oh yeah. Thank you. It's like thank fuck for that. So I'm pretty sure there's just one thing left. So while we're here, let's do some shopping. Pick up some uh, more powerful items. I mean, I know shopping sequences aren't the most exciting, so I'll try and get through as quick as possible. So there we go, that's that out of the way. So there's one thing left we need to do. We need a wig, obviously. And uh, to get a wig, we need to do some squats, obviously. It's just how the world works these days. So we need to beat this big, scary black man in uh, a race with the most squats in 30 seconds. Pretty simple. Square X. Circle. Not order. Yes, I got it. I don't need to practice. Off you go. Nice and easy. He's like, what the fuck do I do next? Japanese. Oh yeah. So that should be that. So there's one thing left to do now. And that's to put on all our new items. Let's get changed. So, nothing to see here, just, you know, a big, strong man with a sword and a dress. <laughs> Miss Graham. <laughs> I mean, like I said, I, I cannot wait to see this, this scene transition to a, a 3D game.
Ah. As if we do such a thing. So she's just bought a dress. Um, but then all of a sudden she has new shoes on. As you do. Alright, so we're just going to go and go to the mansion. Let's see if we can get in with our new disguise. <laughs> Damn, your friend's pretty hot. Thanks, I'm a man. So this is Don Corneille's mansion. Uh, we're hoping that Shitwife is in here somewhere. Let's find Shitwife. <laughs> I mean, look at look at him run. Oops. And God only knows what that bed in the middle is used for, with the outline of a person. I mean, like I said, 1997, it was different times back then, you could get away, get away with a lot more in video games than you can now. My back is broken in five places. <laughs> Susan, badass Susan. your own mind up. <laughs> I don't want shit wife in. <laughs> Miss die soon. Okay, that's much better. <laughs> Women nowadays. So, now we've got everyone together. Let's give Shitwife some new stuff. Sure, be good to go. So here he is. The Don. I think this is... Game's idea of ripping off the Godfather, and Don Corneoli. Hmm, this one, this man, or this one. Wait a minute. <laughs> I'll go for this man.
Yeah, this is getting out of hand. Yes, sir, thanks. Uh, I think. So... I mean, I don't even need to commentate on this scene. Just, just watch. It is uh, something else. I mean, look at him. He is a man possessed. He will not take his eyes off you. <laughs> um. Yes. I'm really in love with Susan. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, really. How could you not tell? Oh dear, violent women. Oh my word. So it's a pretty big deal. This um, Shinra is planning to basically uh, drop the support plate that, that is above the bar uh, where Shitwife lives. So it's going to crush the entire town. So we need to get a move on. Try and stop it. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to win. baby. So we're in the sewers. Uh, so we're going to pick up Shitwife first. And then we're going to pick up Die Soon. But wait. Boss time. So this battle could either be 
pretty difficult, or pretty easy. So going back into wrestling for that grenade. Such a useful item in this battle. I mean, you're just doing a ridiculous amount of damage every time. grenades really is nothing to it. So it's time to get out. I suppose this way we find a couple of battles and gain some precious, precious experience. So many battles. Explanatory steal from enemies. Uh, each enemy has one item that you can steal. Um, and the success rate is based on a character's 
dexterity or speed. There's only one point between Shipwright and Graham. Um, well, as Graham is more powerful than Shipwright, I'll give it to him. No, give it to her, sorry. And you can steal from enemies instead of attacking. And that will conclude this episode. So next we'll go through this this junkyard hopefully get home in time to stop the plate from crushing the entire town uh, so thanks for joining and I'll see you later